Not everyone is fortunate enough to grow up in a different household with open-minded people. But by the grace of the Most High, I was able to see and experience the things that only one could imagine. But no more imagining. In this video, I will share with you a childhood memory that warms my heart and almost brings me to tears when I think about the times as a child. So sit back and enjoy the story of Fred H. Crump Jr. and the books he wrote and illustrated that changed my life forever. And hopefully you can do the same for you and your children. And just because they're not yours doesn't mean they're not yours. I'm talking nieces, nephews, grandkids, all that. And now that that's out of the way, let's take a deep, deep dive into the story of Fred H. Crump Jr. Fred H. Crump Jr. was born June 7, 1931 in good old Houston, Texas. He was often fascinated as a child with books of fantasy and fiction. He would often spend hours locked inside his room or inside of a library, reading and learning about all sorts of cool places and traveling to those faraway lands within his own mind. He would excel in grade school as well as high school, which would land him at a college university in Houston, Texas, which he earned a master's degree in art in the year 1961. And with his degree in talent, he relocated to Palm Springs, California, and for 32 years, he taught art at a junior high school. While in California, he was working as a children's book illustrator and a teacher at the same time and would often use his sample pages to teach his students. Crump was a mastermind and a master at creating fairy tale books for African-American kids, retelling African folklore and also retelling classic fairy tales with black children as the roles of the main characters. He believed it was absolutely silly for all of the old fairy tales and princesses to only be white and he felt it sent the wrong message to minority children to grow up viewing only white people as royalty and finding true happiness. He'd often share quotes and words of encouragement with his students, one being, keep a sharp pencil, meaning, keep a sharp mind. And he'd also remind them that, you've already drawn it in your mind before the pencil even touches the paper. What I take from that quote is manifestation is real, and if you believe in something enough to put action behind it, it can be achieved, obtained, or whatever you want to call it. Fred H. Crump Jr. wrote books from the mid-80s all the way up until the early 2000s. Fred H. Crump Jr., a historical figure in the black community, passed away on October 29, 2005 at the age of 72. Crump had over 40 titles published before his death. So let's run through a few of them so you can have an idea of which ones you would want to purchase for yourself or maybe one day for your children. Three Kings and a Star, published in 2005. Afrotini and the Three Bears, published in 1991. Mary Gold and the Dragon, published in 1964. Benita and the Seven Boys, published in 1997. Mumbo and the Tigers, published in 1991, and A Rose for Zamira, Beauty and the Beast, published in 1988. Those are just a few of the books that I've read and that I will also share with you. And if you want to find out more about these books, you can search them up online yourself. Also, you can find them on Amazon.com for purchase. And now that you've had an introduction to Mr. Crump and his books, hopefully you can take this search further spread the knowledge and the gift of Fred H. Crump Jr. and what he has left for us as a community and as a people. Fred H. Crump Jr. was not very popularized and was also a very private man and not too much information was known about his life nor his death. So with that being said, that's my time family. I'm OSC Judd and you just watched Organic Citrus Club. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like if you liked it, and also comment if you have anything you want to share or you just want to say thanks. And uh, see you on the next video. Peace.